parked an FRS in front of a moving minivan. Imagine Moreland's drift times 600 on heroin. Shut the fuck up. And, and moving traffic. <laughs> He's talking about getting sideways like... Look at the laughing. Back up there. Don't hit me. So since I didn't get it on the GoPro, do you want to tell me what happened? Yeah, it kind of kicked a little too hard and it's fun. Oh, uh, <laughs> yeah, you, you parallel parked your car in front of a minivan how that close, was moving. How close were you, dude? I don't know. I don't even know if you I did. Dude, I, 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 yeah. I swear to God. <laughs> and then it hit. Nothing hit, though. No. What's up, baby? Tell me where we're at. We're at Waterfront. Out here at Waterfront. Shit's beat as usual. Yeah, like always. Say something. Dude, this is like best friend goals over here. Struggle with my anxiety, crippled by my sobriety. They told me I'd be better off, but I think that they lied to me. And that's just because every single time I be high, I feel like I'm way above average. Number one draft Man, I'm number one, number one. Larry Johnson in 91 might fuck around with that Tommy gun till I bust around and you finally run. I ain't playing, line them up. Your girl saying she trying to fuck. Your friends say that you kind of bum. My friends say that that's kind of brun. Spit that fire, spit that fire. Light a candy like Hanukkah. With that mic in my hand, I could stop a real rhinoceros. I'm like Comic Con with this comic shit. Took a Pikachu to be honest. Kid, but come at me, you might get your Abdullah Ablu got a split. Look, man, I'm kind of great. I'm kind of great. I just don't feel like I say that enough. Let me elaborate. I'm the best in every single city, country, town, or state. I put the mic in my dick and the instrumentals claiming rape. Yeah, I said the instrumentals claiming rape. Black hoodie, black cat, but I feel like I'm in bathing apes. Y'all faggots just play a hate, and I've been sent to save the day. Cause day to day, I've laid awake dreaming about this paper. Struggle Chase. with my anxiety, crippled by my sobriety. They told me I'd be better off, but I think that. They lied to me, and that's just because every single time I be high, I feel like I'm way above average. Right. Number one, <laughs> I got my beanie on, hoodie up, hype beast like what the fuck. Cause I ain't down with that mainstream on my main team When we looking up, I can't kill but my man will Y'all stand still when y'all should've run I'm white like mozzarella, Helen Keller smell what I'm cooking up Eating portobello, then dessert to get my sugar up I'm talking cake, I'm here to do You telling me if you got a Lamborghini you wouldn't want a turbo Lamborghini? One day I just got home from waterfront and it was a good time i think that's the last one for the season but a couple of my friends asked me like how do you go to shit like this when you don't have a car anymore and how do you like that would drive me nuts and i'm i think it keeps me sane more than anything i love being around cars i love seeing everybody else's build and it's good to keep up with my friends that i haven't really seen recently so i'll be back soon enough and got to see a lot of really clean cars tonight so it was a good time i struggle a lot of times with what my purpose is and what i would like to do with my life is if i could find a way to build cars and get paid for it that would be my ultimate dream job and everybody says oh well it's all well and good, but mechanics don't necessarily make the greatest money, and fabricators, they make decent money, and I get that, but I think loving what you do outweighs the income. As long as you can get by and you can make a living, that's great, but I think eventually I would like to own my own custom shop building cars and fabricating different parts here and there however 
you need to be self-motivated to own your own business. I'm pretty good at self-motivating myself, but I need to get better. Every now and then I slack off and I find myself in this rut where I'm like, oh, well, I'm not where I want to be. And then I need to remind myself like, hey, you're 21, it's gonna come. You need to work for it, but you can work to get where you want to be. And that's something that I really have trouble with from time to time is I'll fall into this rut or miniature depression session is what I call it, but where I'm like, this sucks, I don't wanna do this, I don't really see, like because I can't see the destination doesn't mean that it's not in the future. And that's something that I have to keep telling myself to get myself out of those pits and say, hey, pick yourself up, dust yourself off, continue to focus on what you want, and you're going to get it. I'm ready for bed. I have to work in the morning. So, until next time, build it for you. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe. Follow me on social media. Everything's in the description. And I'll see you next week. Thanks.